I suppose in some way. Uh, so we're going to talk uh, again this evening about pain management. Uh, and some of you who are astute or a little more experienced will uh, realise that I'm not Siegfried, who was advertised to do this evening's session. Uh, and Siegfried got uh, caught up as things can happen. And so uh, I'm, I'm filling in. So apologies for ending up with the B team, but there we go. I'll, I'll do the best I can. And um, hopefully uh, it can be really useful. And th this actual uh, exercise that we're doing this evening, <clears throat> uh, which is on, on the app, of course, and is called Finding Peace, uh, is one that's really useful for people who've got uh, pain issues, uh, but I think can be useful for any of us, actually, in any uh, circumstances, because it, it gives access to a place of inner peace or you could almost call it like an inner refuge. Uh, and I think all of us go through periods in life where uh, things can be pretty tumultuous and either what's going on around us or in our heads or in our emotions is pretty wild. And to have a technique that can reliably take you away from that uh, into a place of inner peace can be both really comforting and actually really helpful and, and quite powerful in a healing sense. You know, so we, we can certainly talk about how this works uh, for people who do have pain uh, and, and, and this can work either for acute pain or for uh, chronic pain. And just as an example, uh, I've written about this in uh, one of the books that I wrote, I had, I had a sort of a, one of those extraordinary experiences actually driving into Adelaide where I'm heavy, heading next week. Um, actually, if anybody's in Adelaide or know people in Adelaide, I'm doing a meditation session there on Wednesday night. We're heading off tomorrow to drive over. But I was driving into Adelaide um, on my own a few years back uh, and I was the first upon a uh, scene of a, a motorbike accident and this uh, for those of you who know the windy road into Adelaide um, before they put in the new highway it used to be very windy and quite a lot of fun to drive fast although I didn't say that um, and this motorbike was uh, giving it a really good go uh, and he came unstuck and he slid across the road and uh, I was sort of one of the first cars on the scene and got out to help and it turned out he'd broken his leg uh, quite cleanly below the, below, below the knee through the two bones that are in that part of your shin and uh, uh, probably not surprisingly he was quite distressed uh, and I think he was really distressed at first because he wasn't sure what had actually happened and um, so I reassured him that he'd broken his leg and it was a clean break and wasn't a compound fracture and could be pretty confident that it was going to heal okay and I think that sort of reassures you <laughs> um, and 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 then I, I did this exercise that we'll do this evening and and when we when we started he was really you know he was young guy in his mid twenties and he was really distressed. He was sort of crying out and he was, he was really anxious. He was, he was really disturbed. Um, and, and by doing this exercise, um, basically it's invitation to go to a place that you associate from your past experience or from your own, uh, imagination, a place that you, uh, associate with, uh, peace and and safety and and contentment um, and and in in building that place with him and get him to imagine it and then close his eyes and imagine that he'd actually gone into this place uh, by the time the ambulance turned up he was re he was really peaceful uh, and it was it, it was really heartening to see just how effective it was in in you know a real life fairly um, high 
level emergency situation. So we, um, we know it works well in acute pain like he was experiencing, uh, but when people have got chronic pain, there are many things that you can do, obviously externally uh, with chronic pain, that, you know, medication and natural therapies and sort of uh, physical therapies, all sorts of things. Uh, but as we know through the app and for those of you interested in meditation and sort of those sort of practices, there's a lot that you can do within your own mind to manage pain and, and to modulate uh, <clears throat> the distress and the hurt that you actually experience with pain. Um, a lot of those, uh, one of the things I've found though, uh, for people who have chronic pain is that from time to time, it's, it's, it's actually nice to have some time out from the pain. And, and this exercise can be like a time out sort of exercise where you distract your attention from the pain, where you move your attention from the pain to somewhere else. Um, and in, in the same vein, just because we're talking about these things, um, I, I think sometimes, you know, if you're managing pain naturally, um, it doesn't hurt to have a day where you take some uh, medication, you know, if you don't need it all the time. Um, but sometimes it can be good just to like have a break and, and take, you know, what Panadol or whatever the heck it is uh, that just gives you a break. Uh, and that can help to make it easier to manage it without medication, um, you know, in, in the main. Um, so th this, this um, in a uh, finding peace uh, practice is a way that you can take your attention away from whatever physical sensations you're experiencing and go to this place of inner refuge, like a inner sanctuary. Uh, and, and, and the good thing about it is it's very easy to do uh, and it's very reliable. Um, what I would say is if, if it's, it's an exercise you can learn and do it for yourself, but if you're actually dealing with pain that's got any significance, you know, like it's really bothering you, then it can be really helpful to actually have somebody else lead you through the exercise. So that, that's what the app's intended for, that you can put this, this particular exercise on. Um, you don't have to think about it. You just actually have to do it. You just have to go along with it. Uh, and it can be very effective in the way that we're describing. Uh, and another way to approach it, um, because we are talking about pain and it's, it's, it's complex, is that uh, this exercise is actually written out in, um, in my book, Meditation, an in-depth guide. And some people find it really helpful to get somebody that they're close to to actually read it out to them. Uh, and and if, if that's helpful and, and you're the person who does the, the reading, uh, then, the, then the thing about it is to aim to, to do it in a really calm and measured voice. Uh, you know, it's pretty obvious if you, if you sound hysterical and you're reading out the words, uh, the words aren't going to have a lot of uh, benefit, I would suggest. So it, you, you need, if you're actually going to be the one who reads this out, to take a moment to relax yourself, to get into a calm state of mind yourself, and to read it out slowly uh, and with lots of gaps. And you, you'll get a sense of that from you know, how, I, how I lead it this evening. Uh, so it's just another thing to mention that um, you know, if, if you are helping somebody <clears throat> who's got you know, a significant ongoing chronic pain, uh, it, it's another thing to consider. Uh, but for, for most people, I think you'll find uh, the app will work well for that purpose. And I, I, I'd suggest for pain management, um, the two exercise, the two uh, direct pain management exercises that are on the app uh, are really good to listen to, and you can you can listen to them as many times as you like. You know, if it's helpful to listen to them several times a day, uh, that certainly makes sense. There's no sort of um, it's not like um, morphine. You know, you're not going to get some addiction or some withdrawal symptom. Uh, you can you can use these things just as often as you like. 
um, and you can certainly sw switch them around. And, and just finally, uh, before we do the practice, to say that the main practice that we have on the app, uh, which is in the pain management section as well, um, if, you do, you, if you do that regularly, it just builds up um, a higher threshold to pain. I, I think many people have found this over the years. Um, I know uh, Siegfried, who was um, going to be doing the um, session this evening, uh, had that experience. He, he started meditation with the sort of sensitivity to pain that most of us would, had, would have. And over the years and sort of developing these techniques has ended up being able to go to the dentist and have root fillings without um, anaesthetic and things like that. Um, uh, and it takes a bit of practice, but you know, those things can be done. So um, let's do this practice. And as I say, it's a really good one for anybody. Uh, it's a really good one to know. And it's a good, really good one to remember if you are feeling a bit strung out, whether it's through physical pain, emotional pain, mental pain, spiritual pain. If, if, if you feel like you need um, an opportunity to, to sort of get more centered, more balanced, uh, this is a really good exercise. So, so let's begin now. And if you need to, just take a few moments to adjust your body. So if you want to change your posture a little, uh, and this is certainly an exercise you could do lying down if you like, um, but all things being equal, all these exercises, uh, if your body's comfortable with it, are best uh, sitting. And if you're sitting, then ideally to have your back uh, straight. And just have that sense of being slightly uncomfortable when you start. And, and, the, and the, the, the reason to be just a little bit uncomfortable is that that helps to, you to concentrate. And it's like as we start, we consciously relax through that discomfort. It's sort of like we relax enough to go beyond that discomfort. If, if you're all snuggly in bed, um, you know, if you haven't practiced much, it's pretty easy to go off to sleep. And that in itself can be like an inner refuge and certainly can be like uh, finding the peace of sleep. But it's, it's different to doing this uh, exercise more consciously. And if you do go to sleep, though, it's, it's no uh, problem. Uh, and if you're sort of fairly new to these practices and you go to sleep, most people find after a while they just work it out and they can stay awake and, and meditate lying down or sitting up um, as, it, as, it, as needs be. So get your body settled. And then it's almost like checking in with your body, just being conscious of your body. And that awareness that we're actually in our body. So it's like connecting the mind and the body. Clearly the body does support the mind, provides a support for the mind, a vehicle for the mind. So it's like we relax into our posture. If you are in a chair or a lounge that's got a back to it, you might just lean back a little and feel the support in the back of the chair. If you're lying down, it's like you can imagine your whole body relaxing down into the bed or whatever it is you're lying on. So then you might like to join me for a few moments. And just let your eyes close gently.
And remember that this is a time when we can use guided imagery to experience a deeper natural peace. For regeneration, for healing, pain relief, and even moving gently into stillness. And just as you feel your body settling, just remind yourself why you're doing this exercise, what you're wishing for. Just bring to mind quite consciously, is it to relieve pain? To simply experience that inner peace? Time out, maybe. Healing, regeneration. And it's like you take that intention and take the momentum of that intention into the practice itself. Once you've actually set the intention, you've clarified what your intention is through the exercise then you aim to let go. Through it, once we start the exercise, you just let go of the intention, but have it sort of there in the back of your mind, as it were. But as we start the exercise now, to let go of any sense of trying to make anything particular happen, but it's like we have confidence that the exercise can actually do, can accomplish what it is that we've set out to accomplish through the exercise. So once we start, we aim to do it together in an alert and relaxed manner. With a gentle curiosity and simply to observe what happens. So now, in your mind's eye, imagine a place where you feel particularly peaceful and comfortable. Maybe a place you've been to before. Or it may be a fantasy place. Just allow an image to form in your mind of a place where you feel particularly peaceful and comfortable and in a way that you can explore it in more detail. So... What can you see in this place? What can you see in this place? What is close by? What is further off in the distance? What can you see? What shapes? What sizes are things? What colors? What shades of colour? Building up the detail of what you can see in this place. You'll probably notice what time of day it is. Is it morning? Evening? Midday? If you can see the sky, are there clouds about or is it a clear sky? Maybe you notice some movement, or is it quite still? What can you see in this place?
Now, notice what sounds you can hear in this place. Are there any sounds coming from nearby? Any sounds coming from further afield? What sounds can you hear in this place? Now, notice what you may be able to smell in this place, what fragrance, what odour, perhaps just the quality of the air itself. What can you smell in this place? Now, what sensations can you feel in this place? You'll probably be aware of the temperature. Is it warm, cool, neutral? Can you feel the warmth of the sun on your face or maybe you can feel a gentle breeze on your skin? What can you feel in this place? And notice to your position and what you're in contact with. Is it hard? Or soft? Is it damp or dry? What physical sensations are you aware of in this place? Now, be aware that if there's anything you might like to change to make this place even more peaceful and comfortable, just remember you could do that. And now, Dwell on the feelings that come with being in this place. Allow those feelings to build within you. Really go into the feeling of what it's like to be in this place and, and rest with those feelings. Just going with it. Most like letting go into the feelings. Relaxing. Releasing. Letting go. And as you do relax even more. Just have that sense of really relaxing more deeply still and can come a feeling of lightness. A feeling of lightness, almost as if you could be floating up a few inches above the ground. Just feeling the ease of it all. The ease of it all and going with it. It's like you're just floating a few inches above the ground, just going with it. Going with that feeling, relaxing, releasing. So 
effortlessly. Effortlessly. Just flowing with it, going with it. Feeling of almost like melting, merging. Oneness. Oneness. So easy. Just feeling the ease of it all. Natural ease of it all. Just going with it. Going with it. And just resting quietly with that feeling now for a few moments. And if at any stage you do find your mind wandering or coming distracted, just as soon as you do notice that, just gently bring your attention back to this place of inner peace, this inner sanctuary. Remembering the place and imagining yourself in that place once again. taking it all in and feeling it all through. Maybe to that sense of lying down in that place and relaxing really deeply. Relaxing so deeply that it's that feeling of like floating just a few inches up above the ground. So effortlessly, effortlessly letting go and just resting there for a few moments. Natural ease of it all. Ease of it all.
Now just bring your attention more particularly back to your body once again. Maybe a deeper breath or two. I'd like to move your feet a little, hands a little. And then when you're ready, just let your eyes gently open again. Maybe it's good just to sit quietly for a few moments before you move off. Nice to be able to share that exercise with you again and hope you have a good week. And yeah, go well. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.